Welcome to University Lab Tech School. I'm Lori, the lab tech, and this is the quick way to add test tube cap to a test tube for microbiology. So what you do is you just lightly add the cap onto the test tube, like so, and then when you got a complete rack, you firmly press it down onto the from the tip of the cap to the test tube, like so. If you have a bad cap, it's too loose and immediately goes down. You're gonna test it on a few test tubes and if it immediately goes down again, you're just gonna throw it away because that will cause the test tube, when you pick it up, the test tube might fall or the, the lid might come off and you might contaminate your sample. So if you want to watch a longer way, just uh, continue with the video. All right, peace out. Here. You want to just lightly place them on top of the test tubes, like so, and not pushing them down all the way. So, see how I just barely put it on the test tube and it sticks up high. You do that all the way across. Now this one over here is automatically going down. That's a faulty test tube top. I'm gonna check it on a different one. Still goes too low. Up, oh, it worked on the third one, so I'm gonna keep it. So you just go all the way across. That one didn't work. Pick it up, try it on a different test tube. Didn't work on that one either. So as you can see, I will throw away the bad ones because they get too stretched out. The test tube cap lightly goes onto the top. You don't want it to go all the way where the lid touches the lip just yet. So at first you want it to, to go like this because if it, if it automatically goes down like this, it's going to be really loose when you're grabbing it and it'll just slip right out of your hands when you try to do any type of, type of transfer or... So when you completed your rack, of placing them lightly on the test tubes, then you're gonna go ahead and push them all down. I like to do this, it's a very fun project for me. So I like to make designs as I push them all down. So now that they're nice and snug and tight on the test tube where the cap touches the lip, the top of the cap touches the lip of the test tube and this is all ready to go into the autoclave, I could stick some foil on it, autoclave tape, and put it in the autoclave. That's how you put the test tube caps on to the top of test tubes before autoclaving. Thanks for joining me. I'm Lori, the Lab Tech. Welcome to University Lab Tech School. Bye.